let's talk about dynamic the allocation. Uh, we're, not, we're not talking about allocation, but the allocation here, right? So whenever you have some uh, memory allocated uh, on the heap, right? So this is your heap memory. And let's say you have a pointer uh, pointing to a character and this pointer character has a value of four. So this is a one byte uh, memory space allocated uh, somewhere. So this P actually points to, right? This guy right here. Now you can start as a pointer, you can start passing pointers uh, around in your code from let's say function to a function to another code block somewhere else. Uh, but eventually at some point, you're gonna have to remember to delete P, right? In this case, you can delete P inside this another function or you can decide to do that if P is global uh, to do so in your destructor inside your code. However, um, failure to delete uh, P will result in what we call memory leak, right? Um, this will release um, uh, the memory that you have allocated using a delete. Uh, on this on a heap, uh, releasing uh, this amount of one byte of memory back to the uh, the process. So um, that said, uh, it is also a good idea to reassign the value of null pointer to, uh, back into P. So later on, uh, before you do uh, this new again, uh, a lot of times uh, what you can do is double checking to see if if P right uh, equals equals null pointer. If P is not a null pointer, um, then uh, you don't want to uh, reassign uh, this new address to it uh, lest uh, you'll meet leak memory again. Because once you assign pointer from the valid memory address uh, to another uh, without releasing the prior uh, memory, uh, you, you get memory leak, right? So uh, traceability is very important thing. So let's move on uh, to the uh, next uh, slide to illustrate this. this is in this case, we have an array of five integers. So this is uh, array of five, right? Uh, not just one element, but five of them. So there's actually five um, of them right here, index zero. So P represent uh, the memory address of the points to the very first element, right? Inside index zero. So when you deallocate it, uh, you can't just do delete P, right? You gotta do delete bracket P. So this, what happens is uh, when the elements are created uh, using this new, the order of the element creations uh, happens from index zero all the way through to four, right? Since there are, there are five elements here. But uh, when you do delete bracket P, um, the deallocation occurs on the very last element, which is index four, and then three, two, zero, one in the array's lifetime order. So uh, this is just a caveat for you, uh, FYI. Uh, it, it's not that important, but um, just remember though, uh, you can't just delete uh, P because P points to the very first element, right? Leaving the other four of these um, as is, as in they'll just be uh, unclaimed, but they are still um, occupying memories that are, uh, cannot be used by any other uh, threat, um, right? Uh, or processes in, in memory. So uh, you would have memory leak in that case. So that is dynamic allocations of, um, uh, array of um, elements um, as we speak. This is uh, uh, a quick summary of uh, something that you should be aware of, and that is um, you need to track the lifetime of any pointers used in your code, beginning where it points to. Let's say if you have uh, some sort of for loop um, that um, at some point uh, creates a whole bunch of uh, new elements, right? New integer or something like that. So for every new or element that is uh, dynamically allocated, uh, you have to remember to deallocate it. So it, it's very possible you can have, um, let's say uh, a char double pointer, which is an array, which is a pointer uh, pointing to a pointer that points to array of um, right um, charts. Uh, at some point, um, you're gonna have to, let's say if every single uh, element inside that two-dimensional array, uh, it's also dynamically allocated. Then you have to write a for loop uh, deleting every single element inside the array because each element is dynamically allocated. Um, but also the two-dimensional array that holds these elements uh, is also uh, dynamically allocated, so right? So it becomes uh, more than just doing delete bracket, right? Opening bracket, close bracket P because you also have to de deallocate, right? To dynamically deallocate the elements inside of it. Otherwise, you have memory leak. So memory leak is a source of a lot of issues, uh, especially in C, C++. Uh, you got to be careful about, uh, you know, the use of these dynamic allocations. Uh, 
it is a, a very important um, you know, source of bugs uh, in lots of programs, uh, what we call dangling pointers. These are basically pointers are unclaimed. They're pointing to any previously allocated spaces um, left unattended uh, in the execution. So during execution, if you have these dangling pointers uh, soon all over the places, uh, yeah, you could be leaking uh, memory as in these memory spaces that you previously claimed, they are not usable, right? So this decreases the, the amount of uh, available runtime uh, memory uh, to execute uh, your code and be diligent about tracking uh, these dynamically allocated uh, variables uh, at runtime. 